break. Uh, hello everyone, it's Dr. Hussain Mohammed Alamin. Today, I would like to provide you that this is an artificial intelligence in this session. You know, you are during the time of the documentations, we are using artificial intelligence sometimes, but you know, we need to uh, write from our human text also. So today in my discussions, I would like to show about how you can use the artificial intelligence, but the document you are providing or issuing from the artificial intelligence, it seems like from the human text. So let's go to my session. In this session, from the 10 steps we are providing what we have done by using our documents uh, by the artificial intelligence. So uh, let's go. So first of all, I would like to share my screen, then you can understand what we would like to do. Yes. So we have total uh, 10 steps to our tool program. It's called the 10 tactics to outmaneuver the artificial intelligence. So first of all, the first step, you should have to go for open a Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So I just go for the new tab and I just open a Google Docs for my site. Okay. I just open a Google Docs. And you can using the Microsoft Word instead of the Google Sheet also. Yes. So the next steps uh, that is very important. So I just go for my document is you should go for the chat openi.com. So I just uh, go to the chat openi.com right now. So let's go to the chat openi.com. Yes. yes. So the first step is you just open a talk. Second step is you just go for the chat openi.com. And the third stage is you should have to keyword the current documents in the chat open eye. Let's say you would like to want to know about some healthcare uh, system in global. So let's say uh, help please uh, describe about, please uh, summarize, say, summarize uh, healthcare system uh, in like uh, Africa, say. Well, so I just uh, mentioned a uh, random. This is a page summary of the healthcare system in Africa. You just see a lot of you know information has to be the coming here. Well, so there's a lot of information. You know, I just put the correct word. So there's a lot of information is there. So this is all about the African healthcare systems that they have to provide. Well, so let's say uh, right now this is all the document. This is here. So I just make it copy. So let's say, is it like the, it is an, a not a human text? So if you are not paraphrasing it or not providing any, you know, like paraphrasing or summarizing or any word you should have certain change, then there may be the problem. So I just provide what is the problem, then I just provide the solution. The problem may be if you just go for the AI content detector, just go to the AI content detector and just paste the documents and check it. Okay. So this is the AI content detection detected already. So if I using another AI content detector, yes, just be and detect the text. So this is 100% AI GPT generated, right? Yeah, almost the 90%. So, so this is why that is uh, you are uh, you know whatever your document are providing. So this is not working at all. So this is this is the AI content. This is the AI content. So how we can resolve that uh, the problem is the AI content. But what are the uh, you know the things we have to manage and we can combat that kind of the situation. So we need to go for this. So then. Uh, whatever we are copying, we just go for our documents again. The ST5, that is, so we need to paste our option to the quillboard.com. So let's go to the quillboard. So in the quillboard.com, you just paraphrase it. Okay. So uh, this is, uh, you know, if you wanted to paraphrase, this is not a premium account. You just wanted to provide your words, only 125. So I just give some example, so then you can understand. So let's say, I can go for the uh, paraphrasing. Okay. So in the paraphrase, you just see there is a lot of word here. So I just refresh it. Uh, I just refresh it. 
I just uh, using only some uh, keyword, then you can understand. I just you can refresh it according to your needed or according to whatever you're thinking. Okay. So due to the shortage of the time, I just providing you uh, the basic things, then you can go for it according to your need. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. okay, so I just take uh, only uh, this kind of the word. I just change some word or some synonyms I'm using. I just copy it. I just part of the document, I just copy it. And again, I just go to the AI content detector. Let's say I just delete the previous one, clear the previous one. I just control V and I want to check. So this is a human text. Let's say I just, whatever I am doing in the paraphrasing, I just paraphrase some word. And during the time of the paraphrasing, after the paraphrasing, when I go for the AI content detector, this is a human text. So main text is from the chat GPT or AI but I just paraphrase it and paraphrase it some synonym or something else, then go for the AI content detector and that is completely a new text or sentences. So I just copy it again to the zero GPT also. So to, uh, you know, give it to the more accuracy, that is our content is not the, you know, uh, AI. I just uh, paste this and I just click the detect text. So your text is completely the human uh, written text. So in this session, so whatever we are learning, my step is I like to provide the steps. Number one, Google Docs, go to the chat open eye, then uh, go to the quill board. If you want to not want to do text, or whether it is your human text or nothing else, go to the quill board, go to the paraphrasing, then go for the copy leaks for your AI content detector, for the zero GPT for the confirmation. Then finally, what you would like to do, then whatever you are getting from the document, this is fine. So just copy to this document and go for your new document. And this is this is your document. So this is completely a new things that is not exist in the world. So this is basically written by GPT, but you know, it is showing that this is a human text. So ultimately, uh, if any kind of the AI detector are try to detect that it's not your writing up, so they will fail you because it is really your writing up rather you are not writing. So thank you so much for uh, today's session. Uh, hope AI can use this, uh, you know, or provide a good assistant for human and save many times and save many human lives. Thank you so much.